wish we had. There's nothing left in the vault, just those bars of gold bullion. I've told you a hundred times, there are always ways of getting things done. I was not ready. I'm through with standing in line to close and live again. It's like the bottom of the ninth and I'm never gonna Read win. Read my life lips. Hasn't turned out like the way I want it to be. I need a big pretty car that's got no limit. A big back there with a bedroom in it. Gonna join the mile high club at 37,000 feet. Cause we all just wanna be Driving 15 cars Every good gold digger's gonna wind up there Every playboy bunny with a peach blonde hair And we'll say, hey, I wanna be a rock star Ooh. Hey, hey, I wanna be a Ladies rock star Ladies and gentlemen, star. the President of the United States, George Walker Bush in America's ideal of freedom, citizens find the dignity and security of economic independence. Instead of laboring on the edge of subsistence, we will build an ownership society to give every American a stake in the promise and future of our country. When I got out involved in this business back in the 80s, uh, we were paying uh, $15 for over limit and late fees. Uh, I just recently saw that race to $43. Think about that. $43 if you're late, $43 if you're over limit. Uh, $86 on your credit card statement before you even do anything. Then your interest rate is going to jump to 21.9 and then all the way up to 28.9. Credit card lending and subprime mortgage lending are so profitable that getting families to take on more debt will yield more money for these companies, even if the number of foreclosures and defaults keeps climbing. The creditor is mandated by federal law to charge it off if we don't make a payment for 180 days. During that 180 days is when all this credit hell is, is, is going on on your account. When the card does charge off, when they take the profit and loss, the P&L that goes on your credit report, that it's a highly inflated figure. That then even becomes a bigger figure when it moves over to the debt buyers, when they sell it and make more money on it. They'll put together uh, a portfolio. This is the auction site itself right here. Fractional ownerships, judgments. The big one is real estate debt. The more debt, obviously, the more uh, opportunity there is for delinquency and the more opportunity then for, for collection. We're just bringing people together, almost like a dating service. <laughs> but for debt. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> they're gamblers. They're going out, they're investing a few dollars in the portfolio, they're investing a few more dollars in computers and personnel renting property. That's about it. Now they're gambling that you as a debtor can be coerced or, or, or frightened into making this investment into a huge windfall. Is it going to work? I don't know. And it's. Vegas, roll the dice and hope you're going get, to get something. We've secured licensing in, I believe it's about 30 out of 50 states. So, you know, we could buy debt in any one of those states that we're licensed in. The first day that you work the account, you usually pull the person's credit bureau report. So we have a direct link on, uh, with our software on the computer system. It's almost all like private investigation work, you know, but it's, it's sites that you have access to and you go in there and, you know, you're just hunting. So this is an online program. One Basically of the ones that... what you can do on this is type in their social security number. It's going to give me every previous address that he's been at back up to 20 years. Possible neighbors. It's not illegal for us to call your neighbors and try to get a message to you. You can have a, a neighbor try to get you to call back. And you know how embarrassing is that? I find it more effective if you actually reach a relative of theirs because obviously that's a little more embarrassing. What they're doing has been compared to uh, the drug dealers of the 80s and the 90s, except that it's legal for now. The chairman's question to you, do you need additional legislative authority? You're telling us this morning that you have all the authority you need to get this data that we're talking about. Well, uh, we have purchased private credit card data. Uh, whether, whether we need more authority to get more data is something I can't where, answer right now. Where does now. the credit card data come from? Uh, I'm, 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 it's it's from a private company, and I'm not sure whether I should say that, and I'm not sure uh, 
Uh, I'll, let me let me uh, check with our lawyers, and I'll get you the, the information on it. The collector is going to look at an account. If this guy has a job, that could pay. If the person's talked to their family about help before, that could make it pay. If they don't have a lot of other debt, that could make it pay. If they're talking to you, that could make it pay. If they have if their spouse doesn't numbers, know. Yeah. yeah. I found out everything I could about you, and then you know what? It gave me power. Information is power in this industry. There's a lot of things that motivate people. You can tack, you know, pride, fear, integrity. You know, what a person's honor. I like to make the analogy that you know you're like you're like this pirate on this pirate ship, right? And and you got that person, and you're walking them out on the plank, and you walk them as, as far as you can out on that plank without pushing them off, and then you bring them back to get what you want. This is our collection floor. We have one, two, three, four, five collectors. And the credit card companies. On average, for every dollar they were asking for in principal, they wanted two more dollars in interest and fees that they said they were owed. That's good, huh? Okay. Well, see, you don't want to have any more judgments against you. They're going to start putting liens on your house. Well, think about that. That means for the average family who can't pay, they'll keep making payments of $50, of $100, but they'll never pay those debts off. Yes, but $25 isn't going to stop you from eating. It's going to show that you actually want to start doing something on this on a voluntary basis. It's not going to go away, Ivan. Well, the police aren't going to be able to do anything for you because I'm not doing anything illegal, Ivan. And what are you going to tell them? That you're mad at me for calling you to make you pay your bill? Yes, we actually do, Ivan. I'm trying to do this in the easiest possible way for you. This is one of the reasons the credit industry wants to change the bankruptcy bill because it is the only single way that people can stop the collection. They say, that's it. I'm in bankruptcy. You can have all of my assets, but then it has to stop. If you can get rid of those bankruptcy laws, then it never has to stop. You can keep calling those people and collecting from them until they die. In recent years, too many people have abused the bankruptcy laws. They walked away from debts even when they had the ability to repay them. This has made credit less affordable and less accessible, especially for low-income workers who already face financial obstacles. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, it's my pleasure here to represent uh, MBNA today and a pleasure to be before the committee. Chair asks the House come to order so that we may continue and conclude debate. This bill severely hurts a middle-class citizen's ability to get a second chance. Without it's objection. It's morally bankrupt. It puts credit card companies ahead of children. Bill Without objection. Does not accommodate the 50 million uninsured Americans forced Without into objection. bankruptcy by health care costs. Without this objection. bill puts credit card companies ahead of children Without objection. and does not protect disabled veterans from Without objection. Predators. This bill does nothing to protect Without our objection. heroic reservists and God who are fighting for us every day. Gentlemen from Florida. Florida. Thank you. Because the Republicans have sold Without out to objection. the credit card companies. Without objection. And they are hurting Gentlemen from American family. Without objection. If we had a basis for uh, concluding that a bank was involved in a practice that was unfair or deceptive, uh, if it violated any of the other many consumer protection standards that apply to them, we can tell them to stop it immediately. You review their procedures and policies yes, and you did. essentially agreed with them that this is a uh, Prudent. They have appropriate risk uh, evaluation techniques uh, in place. Yes, Senator. We're so trusting of the system because we see names like Bank of America and Bank this and Bank that. We say, well, gosh, they're not going to take advantage of me. And ab exactly the opposite is true. Those are the entities that will take advantage of you. We're moving toward a vote uh, at 12 o'clock. I think that the vast majority of lenders in the country do grant credit responsibly and that the vast majority of uh, the users of that industry act very responsibly. I appreciate the opportunity to speak before you today to discuss the credit card industry. At City Cards, we work hard to maintain customer loyalty. At Chase, we value our customers. And on behalf of Capital One, uh, I do want to acknowledge that you know we do hear the criticisms and concerns, and we are very uh, sensitive to them. We're committed to uh, re-earning our customers' business every single day. Thank you. Thank you. The meeting's adjourned. Hey, hey.